Records are great, aren't they? They capture a perfect musical moment forever. But live music, live music is the moment. That special moment when your favourite artist shares something unique with you. It's incredibly important to all us music fans. That's why you're all watching, right? To be in a room with somebody who made that record, that's what really, really gave me the drive to go to gigs. When you fall in love with pop music, you're not really a part of it until you've been to a gig. That's the point where anything is possible. Live music is why we escape to faraway fields for the summer for wild weekends with our friends. And it's probably responsible for a fair few lost employment hours the days after as well. We want to feel the bass, we want to see their face, we want to taste the sweat dripping off the lead guitarist fringe. Mm. Live music is like a torrid river flowing through Six Music. Not literally, obviously, that would be really dangerous, what with all the electronic equipment and stuff. But it's one of the things we do best. In the past year, Six Music has recorded over 300 sessions, persuaded the Stranglers to perform with a concert orchestra, and it's put on its own two-day festival. You're really capturing them as close to the essence of that band as you can possibly get. BBC Radio 6 Music is constantly adding to its massive archive of live music and it has unprecedented access to the mother lord that is the BBC Live Music Library that has been amassed since 1933. It's a treasure trove and Aladdin's Nick Cave of live music. So, whether you're listening to music at work, at home, online or on your phone, why not pop across to bbc.co.uk slash 6music or check out the radio iPlayer to get a load of all this wonderful stuff. Come and join us in the sweet shop, people. Mm -hmm.